Hello everybody and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert. In today's episode, as you can see, we finally get ourselves our Wicked Altar and make ourselves our Reaper Scythe. And now when we kill undead mobs, we actually get Soul Shards from them. And we also take a trip to the Alfheim Dimension at last. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be making ourselves our Wicked Altar. I think we should make this thing right now. It should only take like 10 minutes to make it. And then after we've made this, we're going to make ourselves a scythe. And we're going to enchant this guy up really high so we can start getting a ton of soul gems or soul shards from undead mobs. So wither skeletons, regular skeletons, zombies, and zombie pigmen. We're going to get all of the different soul shards from them. And then afterwards... Uh, we're going to go to the Mythic Botany Dimension. We're going to go through our Alfheim portal and see what magical things await for, await for us on the other side of this portal. So we're going to do that now as well. So just go there and explore because I said I was actually going to go there after I finished Mechanism. Because we wanted to get ourselves Atomic Alloy so we can make ourselves the quarry upgrades for our RF, RF Tools Builder. So we can start quarrying out the Alfheim Dimension. So that's what we're going to do today. I was going to do five times ore processing, but then I was realizing we're not, we don't have enough resources. If we have a look in here, we need to make ourselves tons of power cells and a lot of other things. Uh, so if I open my crafter there, you can see power cells we don't have. Well, that's because we don't have enough blazing comb. Now, I ha do have t technically two blazes running at the same time, and they are producing it. So now we've actually got enough more one chemical dissolution chamber, or one... Yeah, chemical dissolution chamber. Is that not the same thing as a dissolution chamber? What? Hang on. Dissolution chamber, chemical dissolution chamber. Okay, that confused me. But yeah, the chemical dissolution chamber we have access to now. But I need like six of these guys because I want to do a ton of ores or nearly do one chemical dissolution chamber for every ore that we're producing. And as you can see, we're producing quite a few ores. So I want to set that up now, probably next episode. So... I'm going to try and gather myself at least enough blazing honeycomb to try and craft everything because I'm also going to need for chemical infuser more blazing agitators. And blazing ag agitators are not easy because you need even more blazing honeycomb for making all of the blazing crystals for all of the um, energizing rods. And also we're going to need a ton more etching acid. And etching acid is made by putting like some sort of zombie flesh, bone meal and spider eye contraption into this guy here, and he will turn it into etching acid. So, I need to set up a separate thermodynamic processing plant, probably like right here or something like that, or down below underground here, like right here, and get him producing me up infinite etching acid because I can just run the plastic pipe down and hook up our pressure from behind here and get all that organized out and producing. So, I need to start figuring out how to do that now. We'll probably do that to start next episode. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make ourselves a wicked altar now. So we can get rid of this altar right here. So remove that, get rid of our effigy, get rid of the zombie head and the wither skeleton head. I think I just broke that chalice because I didn't use a pickaxe, but whatever. So we need to make ourselves an elder statue. And it looks like we nearly have everything for it. We have ourselves the unholy symbol. We have a heart of the sea. And we have the two... Wait, we do have everything right here. Okay, perfect. So let's go over to our pencil apothecary over here. Because I already have one put down. So if we throw all these ingredients in, is that everything? Oh, it is. Perfect. So we're not missing anything. Beautiful. So one seed. Boom. Elder statue. So the next thing we need to make ourselves is some more stone tables or stone altar tables. So we need to go over here so we don't actually burn anything down and throw all these in ingredients out on the ground. And I need to make two of them. So chuck this out and no, not morphing tool. Morphin' Tool ain't going to create lightning for me. Oh, then my bow is. Perfect. Now we got ourselves two, three tables. And if you look up altar, we have two more in here. Five and then one in the crafting. So six. Perfect. We have all of them now. So all we have to do now is make all our cellular controllers and all that. So the Wicked Altar Controller. That requires all of this. So we need to make ourselves a conduit. So go ahead. We need to get ourselves polished wood pillars. Okay, so just grab like a stack of that or something. Okay, the conduit is done. So here's our Wicked Altar Controller. Oh, there we go. We completed ourselves a magic quest chapter. Beautiful. So we're actually flying through these guys. Wait, pedestals? Redstone control, what? 
I really got a quest here for picking up a piece of redstone. Okay. That's odd, but whatever. Um, Where is it? Magic Apprentice. Oh, we actually completed this chapter. Oh, yeah, we needed to just get the controller for this guy. Everything else is nearly done. And uh, the only thing I need to hold in here is a micellar reactor. Not that I really want to make one, because I said we're not going to do the micellar reactor since we have our mechanism reactors running. But to complete the chapter, maybe. Latex ore processing unit. Oh, yeah, we never actually made one of those either. Yes, whatever. Magic Adept, the only thing in here we need to make is these otherworldly goggles. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, we go back to the altar now. So yeah, we don't need to worry about any of that. So we have ourselves our controller now. So next up then is the item input port. That's going to require lime linen. And linen is made like this. Okay, we do have some linen. How would you make this otherwise? A uh, string or cloth scrap with flax. Oh yeah, we made a ton of flax. It's in a storage drawer, I think. But yeah, we have a ton of it. We only need three pieces because there's only three input ports. We need two lime ones and a red one, it seems. So lime dye, grab about two lime dye, put that in here. So two of these, so two lime and then red dye, one red and done. Now we can make ourselves our input port, item output port, and fluid input port. We just need to make ourselves a small tank. And there we go. So we nearly have everything. So if I look up here at copy paste gadget, so copy paste gadget, we have one of the excavator and industrial deuterium plant. Grab that out. Grab out some paper here because I need to make ourselves the blueprint for it. So inside we go again. And now I need to look up the, the file name. So give me a second. Yeah, if you want to make yourself your template, uh, you need to go to your um, mod packs install folder. Then there'll be a folder called uh, building gadgets patterns. Then in there to be a folder called masterful machinery. And then you just open the text document with the machine you want to build, copy what's inside, and then just hit paste. And there we go. Paste from clipboard, wicked altar. Perfect. So now we just throw this back in here and let's load it into our copy paste gadget. And now we just hold G on anchor and you can see it's over there. So let's reset this, confirm. And now there's the altar. So we're going to set it up over here. So the altar is going to go right, um, let me just shift right click here and let's reorganize this out. Actually, wait, no, I want to press G first and anchor it. Okay, there we go. And now shift right click and now we can adjust it. So probably go down two Y's, come back a few X points and go back over to Z and actually go back forward two X points and here. Does here look a good spot? Maybe bring it closer to here. I'm going to have to get rid of all this grass. Let's bring it forward one more. Confirm. All right, perfect. So I need to dig out the ground here. So let's grab out our square mode and see now. So we need to dig out here, here, and here. Perfect. And I'll just dig out the corners. Now, underneath this guy, there is another block. So if we dig down here, you can see there is this warding stone. So we need to dig out the channel for the warding stone as well. And one block here right now, because that's actually where the controller is going to go. So I need to dig out all these blocks here. All right, I think everything is dug out. Uh, so we need to get all the ingredients out now. So if we just get rid of all these junk out of our inventory. Um... Make sure no grass is in the way. Now we look like we're good. All right. So we have our altar. We have our elder statue and we have all of our ports. So we can get rid of all this stuff here. The only thing we need to get out now is 34 polished wood and 16 warding stone. So warding stone and polished wood. And now we have everything. So if we just build it right here. Should be no issues. And uh, what the? F Why is there water? Oh, are you joking? Oh my god, all of my flowers just got destroyed. Are you kidding me? Oh, why? Why is there water in this pattern? Seriously? Why would they put the building pattern with water in it? Oh, that is just so unfair. Oh my god, look at all the flowers that just got destroyed. I'm gonna have to replant all them. Lucky enough, it's actually not too bad. I just hold right-click with some floral fertilizer. 
Try not to go too overboard, but definitely out of loss, and then just regular bone meal. Uh, just add a bit of a path here, and yeah, it'll, it'll do now. Just a bit of grass places, and yeah, it's not overly barren now, it's just flowers. All right, I just started raining there. Um, so yeah, to make our scythe now, we need to make ourselves three pewter ingots, and two leather app sticks, two soul shards, tattered cloth, Anubis god shard, and some life essence. So for life essence, we need to get ourselves an ender tank. So ender tank here, perfect. And now we need to dye it. So I believe I was using red, but I don't know what color combination I was using. So let's come back over here. I think all red is redstone at the moment. So we're using red, white, red. Okay, perfect. So if we just like say, this is the fluid input. Okay, so perfect, so that there and that there, and then just grab out the regular pipe. We don't need anything crazy pipe uh, here. So configurator and just tell it here to extract and then we're good. So you are don't have an interface, which is a bit odd, but whatever. Uh, so item output is here. No, that's item input. And then the center here is the item output. So pewter. Uh, oh, camp block's wrong. So craft me, I don't know, a couple stacks of pewter quickly. I just need three ingots of it. There we go. So three ingots of pewter. Then I need leather wrap sticks. So leather wrap stick. I think I need more ancient sticks here. So two of them, perfect. Then we need ourselves Anubis God Shard. So Anubis God Shard, perfect. Tattered Cloth, I have 1k of them. Damn, where did I get all them? Then I think I needed, ooh, what was the other ingredient? Soul Shards. I think it was like two Soul Shards as well. And then if I throw all these ingredients in here into the item input port, how long does it take to craft? The controller is down here. So let's go to the controller and have a look what's going on. I don't know why they put the controller down here. Structure found. Unless the thing's finished crafting. Ah, it is. Perfect. So, yeah. I don't know why the controller is all the way down there. But, sure. They could have just put the controller, like, in the back middle here. Or at right there. Yeah, because it's right here, which is odd. I guess they just wanted to hide it because it's a different color texture on the surface. But, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We're done with it now. I don't think there's anything else the Wicked Altar really does for us. Um, let's actually have a look here. So wicked altar recipe. So glass hand. No input routing node. No reaper size. No axe of cleaving. No Routing node. No, no, no prestigious palm. No, 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 no The only thing maybe is these lesser soul gems these lesser soul gems can be used to make empty soul gems and I think they're yeah, they're even used for making these things and some warded mail and making ourselves what looks like a sanguine amulet, amulet, which pretty much generates hearts or stores up hearts so you can not have to die immediately, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I think that's more or less it, all it has to offer for us. I don't think we need that pickaxe, we don't need the routing node, and we don't need any of these guys here. So yeah, we don't really need anything else. So lesser gems and the size is all we needed from the altar, but that's it. So let's go enchant this guy. So let's grab ourselves out like, I don't know, two stacks of these things. Let's grab ourselves out a book here quickly. And let's go to our soul enchanter in the nether and see if we can get some decent enchants on this scythe. Okay, I can't seem to get any more decent enchants. It's always like life mending, knowledge of the ages, or sea infusion. I keep trying to re-roll them, but I'm not getting anything different. Like, I don't want like any cambular or leeching or whatever. Uh, as it keeps giving them fire aspect and all that is just useless against like mobs since I'm going to be killing them easier since I already have smite five So yeah, you can see I'm not getting anything decent here. So I think this is the best we're going to get So what do we have on this thing? We have sharpness five soul bound sweeping edge tree vorpal tree looting tree smite five capturing five and unbreaking tree Meaning we should be able to kill uh, undead mobs really quickly with this smite and it's also got quite a bit of sharpness. So if we come over here and like attack a pigman or something. One shot. One shot. One shot. And there you can see we're starting to generate up things. And we got ourselves a spawn egg. Not bad. So four of them just from like uh, four pigmen. But if we kill this guy here. He dropped four himself. So sometimes they might drop more. Other times they might not drop any at all. So we just got another four there. We got two there. We got ourselves another four there. So they seem to be dropping anywhere between 0 and 2 or 4. And with the smite, it makes it just a little bit easier to kill them and get all our gems. Now, I don't know if the difficulty of the mob matters. 
Say, for instance, we go over here and we kill ourselves a Wither Skeleton. Does that make it so you can get more gems easier or what? I don't know. Uh, I know I have an entrance into the soul area this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't even see him! Oh my god, he just scared the life out of me. Oh my god, my heart. Oh, I did not even see him. Uh, where are we going? Oh, here it is. Actually, I don't think these are the tunnels to the Soul Valley, because I think these were... Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, now let's see. Do we drop one? Yes, we do. And that gave me... I didn't really see what number I had first. So we had 26. 29. So that gave us three. So we're just going to seem to be dropping that many extra. So, I don't know. I don't know what's better to kill pigmen or winter skeletons. But I mean, you gave me another two. You gave me another f four. And you are going to give me two. Eh, it's whatever. Right, let's find our waste stone and get out of here. Right, we can probably put that in our backpack. Since we don't have this sword anymore, if we were to remove that from the memory slot... Put this in it and reset it. Now, when you look at my back backpack, you can see the scythe on the outside, which is kind of cool. So, Mead of Vasir. Let's see what we need to do with that. So, we need a thermonomatic processing plant with the blood of Vasir. I think I already have another one. Blood of Vasir. Yes, I do. So, we don't need to go through the whole process of making that again. The only thing we need to do now is make ourselves some otherworldly honey. Otherworldly honey comes from the bottle here, and it's a ritual. So we need to make do this ritual here, which requires, looks like, eight otherworldly honeycomb and four blazing honeycomb. Uh, okay, that didn't really help. But yeah, we need also this illuminating honey pot, which comes from, which is strange enough, woody honeycomb. Illumination, you would imagine to be something bright. So like either glowstone or maybe the RGB one would have something. I don't know. It just looks like it's something that comes from the RGB or glowstone bee. But yeah, it comes from trees. Whatever. So there's half of it. Uh, I just need the other bit now. So there's four of that. Uh, so honey, comb. We need to get ourselves out four more of that. So eight in total. And then two blazing honeycomb? Or was it four blazing honeycomb? Four blazing honeycomb. Okay, so I need that. All right, perfect. So we have eight of that, four of that, and we have all that. What book are we looking at to use? No book at all. So just put this in the center. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything else in here we need? Are we uncompressed this here so we can start crafting more things? Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's go over to our occultism area. So, uh, this is the spectral compulsion here. So, let's lay out all of our honeycomb. So, one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And I'm actually going to put this in here just so it uses it. And let's check our timer. Okay, be any second now. There we go. Whoa, look at the speed of that thing. Whoa, okay, that was quick. Um, yeah, there we go. Otherworldly honey. Now, do we need multiple of it or is one bottle enough? 250 and 250 comes from one bottle. Um, wow, okay. Can I actually just straight up throw the... I might need to make myself a centrifugal separator if I can't empty the bottle straight into a thermonomatic processing plant. Um, this guy here is doing nothing. Okay, perfect. So, meat of us here. Temperature has to be, oh, in between. Um, between which temperature, actually? Negative 250. Okay, so pretty much any temperature. So if I just remove, like, one side right here, that should drop the temperature down enough so it'll craft. So, can I empty this into here? No, I can't. So my options are, is to make the centrifugal separator, separate out the honey bottle, from, or the honey from the bottle, or I make three more of these bottles and make a whole block, and then melt it down. Unless I can actually put this in a, in a tank. Hang on, actually. I might be able to throw it into, like, a basic tank here. Can I? No. Okay, centrifugal separator it is. And there we go. Right, uh, do we have power cable? Oh yeah, we do right here. Okay, so we drew the power cable there, throw the bottle in, and then we'll just grab ourselves out a pipe. That's just a basic pipe will do. 
just run this down like this and we'll just say you export out the bottom uh, so configurator and extract there we go so that's all in there so combine it in here now and temperature's going up now so hopefully it'll crap before the temperature gets too hot as long as below 1700 we're good okay we're almost done and boom meet a vassir now do i just drink this i think i just drink it and it allows me to go to alfheim let's have a look here i want to make sure i do it right upon embidding bibbing this disturbing drink the portal at alfheim will open to you allowing you to pass yeah they do consume it As you drink the mead formed from the great evil, you feel how you suddenly gain the ability to talk in any language used by the nine worlds. Ah, oh, cool. And our bottle turns into a mana glass vial. Sure. Uh, config. No, not config. Morphing tool. Duh. All right. Uh, we don't need our copy paste gadget in our books anymore. So do we make ourselves our builder now and then go to the... Alfheim Dimension, because I don't think we can build out a huge area. Builder, I don't think it's actually that expensive. Yeah, it's just requires some brick. So four brick. And then some portly frames. And I think a portal controller. Yeah, so all the craft for that for me, please. And I'll just craft myself two current transformers. And all right, wait now now is one of them. So auto craft that for me, please. There we go. And the other thing we're gonna need now is our quarry upgrade. Now, I believe the quarry upgrade, yeah, required a robot. Do I make myself another robot here quickly? I can't, I have everything ready to auto craft, or should I just go rob the uh, quarry upgrade that's in the other area over here? Because I don't think this guy's actually doing anything at the moment. Yeah, he's turned off. Yeah, he, he's digging in a weird way. But if we just go to Alfheim and just select a small area we should be fine let's just rob the one from here i'll end up making a new one anyway but for now i just want to get this guy up and running so you're coming with me so before we go we just need ourselves an ender chest so ender chest we could technically if we really wanted to avoid using ender chest we could set up a uh, transmitter and, and receiver and have a bunch of importers on a chest there so we can extract everything out even faster than trying to use an ender chest because if this guy backs up everything over here is going to glitch out we'll see how it goes it might be fine and yep you can see the green the screen is turning green as long as we don't move we should teleport to alfheim okay that's actually a tiny portal but whatever we are here and oh my god look at all the pixies <gasps> elementium bees so they do spawn naturally ah cool beautiful so we dream with trees and i think this yeah this place fills up with witches as most of the main mobs here but yeah, it's cool. Uh, we already have a ton of elven bees. And oh yeah, illusioners also spawn here. So we need to be wary of them. But yeah, look at all the pixies everywhere. It's beautiful. What is this, all this grass here? This is golden grass. Ooh. I know there's like this mini dungeon here. Belong to like Edwardy or something like that. I can't remember the name of it exactly. But you have to go find his area, explore it. And you get like a special ring or something like that. And then the ring... It's cursed, you have to uncurse it, and then you get, um, every time you have mana or something like that, it gives you infinite gold or something like that. I'm just seeing now there's Bifrost blocks over here with mana pools, which is really nice. Oh, it doesn't drop as, like, thing. It drops as cardboard? No, are you serious? Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, well. And uh, the main thing we're here to look at now is setting up a quarry and also looking at these Dreamwood trees because I'm going to get Dreamwood things off it and that, but there should be, yep, there we go. This little fruit, this fruit right here is the main thing we're missing for starting to make ourselves Gaia mana spreaders. And some boss just spawned over here. Let's kill off the witch first. So you, well, let's one shot you, that's fine. Uh, you weren't out earning anything that impressive. Uh, okay, so let's head back over to where our portal is and set up an area to start quarrying. Our portal should be roughly around here. I thought it was where this illusioner was. Uh, unless it's back over here because I kind of did fly towards... Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, you have one of your raid signs. Uh, if I kill you right now, you're going to have a bad omen effect and my 
If I go back home, my village is going to be under an attack. Don't necessarily want that. But you can see the world here is made out of living rock, which is cool. So if we just open our chunk borders here, so F3 and G, uh, we'll probably quarry out, I don't know, uh, this chunk right here. Oh, great, right, here we go. Just kill him immediately. All right, so we want to select the highest point, which is probably somewhere on the top of this tree. So we'll just come up here and select the first point. But we need to put down our builder first and a point. We have this blinding effect. Can I? Oh, this is about the end. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so if we stick the, the builder right here, stick the point for it right here, stick the ender chest on top and grab out a lever. And let's just claim these two chunks that we're in now as well. So, oh, which direction is this thing facing? I think it's these two right here. Yeah, it's these two. Okay, perfect. So as long as these don't come near me, we're fine. Uh, so we need to shift click U. So select the first corner, which is this guy. And now we're just going to dig down this way. All the way down to bedrock. Wait, it's all turning into shiver stone? Don't tell me this is all going to be shiver stone. I'm not going to get any of the living wood. Oh, no, please. Maybe the builder will dig it up properly because it's silk touch, maybe. Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed if this isn't coming out as a living rock when I start quarrying. It's coming out of shiver stone. Oh, no. Oh, that's disappointing. I was so looking forward to getting all this living rock. But I made going here pointless. I mean, there is elementium ore and dragonstone ore in the world, so maybe we'll probably be lucky and mine some of that up. But still, like, I was hoping to be mining some up some living rock. Damn, why did they have to do this to me? You can actually see right here, there is actually some of the ore. Uh, it's in the wall right here. So this is elementium ore, which if you use it and smelt it, it just gives you elementium ingots. But no, there should be dragonstone ore as well. Yeah, it's like diamond, so it's probably down fairly deep. Huh, I didn't know gold ore was a thing here. That's interesting. There's more elementium on the wall here. Um, So if I look up at Mythic Botany... What ores do we have? We have gold ore, elementium ore, and dragonstone ore. Yeah, here's the the Andwardy. There we go. Yeah, it's always like Adwari or something like that. You have a cursed ring. You have to enchant it, like doing this thing to uncurse it. And I think actually it has a durability. Yeah. If you use up the durability, it becomes cursed again and you have to redo the ritual. But as long as you have like mending or something, it should be fine. What is all this stuff? Metal metamorphic fungal stone. And now we're at bedrock. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Well, that was very disappointing. But either way, we're in Mythic Botany now, so maybe we'll go exploring, find that ring or something like that. But not now. I don't even think we really need the ring. The main thing I want from this place now is all of the cherries from these trees. And I want at least, like, I don't know, a stack of them so I can make up to myself a ton of Gaia Spirit Spreaders. Also, let's turn off our chunk borders. You know, this dream wood down here is also pretty good as well. Okay, since there's no need to have this actually running here, I'm actually going to set this back up over in the overworld, mining up my other stuff, which is practically useless. But yeah, there's not really we can do else here. There's like a few of these pots are lying around, which is nice. But yeah, even in terms of like flowers and stuff, there's not really that many. There's a few lime ones there, a few yellow and bluish ones. They're not actually regular mythic flowers. Hang on, what are these? Day bloom motif. Yeah, you can pick them up. That's good. Decorative flower. Oh, they're useless. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, everything here is practically useless. There's nothing here that's any good, uh, apart from maybe the bees. But we already have the bee. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And hit that notification bell while you're at it then as well. So without any further ado, goodbye. Goodbye.